We also have fire bombing from the ambulance <laughs> groups. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, if, if, uh, if that's the case, and by the way, your cameras, uh, at the moment, you still seem to be a, a whirling circle to not only me, but also on Blog TV, so I don't know whether you want to turn your camera on and off again to see whether that helps. Um, but we'll bring, in, we'll bring in our first caller. I say the first caller, he's the only one at the moment, so if you want to join us... And I say, if you want to join us, um, unfortunately that, that link above the video box doesn't appear to be working at the moment. We're, we're trying to sort that out. Otherwise, just find us on uh, Skype, send a contact request, and include some gist of uh, what you'd like to ask. Hi, Gary, how are you? Okay, can you hear me? We can hear you very well. Oh, excellent. Um, yeah, I thought for Mother's Day I would sort of broach the subject of motherhood, the experiment. Is of... it Mother's Day? Oh, no, I forgot the card. <laughs> Yeah, Seriously? I'm pretty sure. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, so I thought, thought I'd just bring up the subject of this idea that life, you know, without God, the fact is we're stuck with unintelligent design, all right? There's no creative purpose, no agenda. It's, I describe it as gladiator wars. Four billion years of little DNA molecules fighting with each other. The swords come out, the big sharp teeth, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The whole thing is basically a slaughterhouse. And... Um, we see. I, I'm sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, so so what is the experiment that mothers conduct? They basically say, okay, I'm going to thrust the consciousness into this thing. All right. Now, if I went to the EPA and said, this is what I, my plan is. All right. I'd have to have an environmental impact statement. I'd have to explain what I attempt to prove or accomplish. I'd have to come to some standard and say, this is going to actually accomplish something. And my argument is, is all this, all this anti-religion stuff is just fine to get rid of the gay bigotry and the other social nastiness of, of, of the religious suppression. But if you're just going to replace it with another fairy tale, I mean, you call it the magic sandwich show, you could call it the voodoo economic show, or you could call it the false hope show, or the uh, I'm going to pretend I'm not going to die show or I'm going to pretend I'm super attractive and marvelous show. I mean, you know, humans are full of delusions. Not only the God delusion, but the whole life purpose, Santa Claus, Merry Christmas, I love you, Mom delusion. I mean, their delusions are everywhere. And everybody, in my opinion, seems to be running from a truth that is, we are part of an unintelligent design that has basically created a carnage slaughterhouse. And you all seem fine with that. I mean, Aaron Ross. I, I think we've discussed this before, I think, Gary, and um, I think your view was that uh, it, it's almost irresponsible to have children. Is that an accurate... Well, actually, I think, it's, I think it's, in most cases, criminal. I don't even think they give it a moment's thought. I don't think they think about what they're going to do if the kid comes out broken. I don't think they're going to think about their kid's actually going to die someday and how they're going to die. I don't think they think Gary, about divorces. Gary, and, what, 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 do, what do you eat when you might shoot to death horribly doing it? What, what do I what? Eat? No, why do you bother eating when you might shoot to death horribly while doing it? Yeah, sorry, I, I just, I might something horribly while doing it. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I... No, uh, what you were saying, uh, it's, I, I think I'll come back to that point, if, if I may, in a second. Um, but just continuing with um, what I was addressing with you, uh, Gary, if I may. Um, I, I think this is something that I raised with you before when we were discussing this, that um, in a way you're right, and I think that it is... Um, it, it, the, there is a lack of responsibility on many people who are uh, bringing people into the world. I mean, the inability to look after them and having to rely on um, charity or um, state donations is, is just one example. But you're talking much more generally. And I think that I, I can see where you're coming from with that, because in a way, life is purposeless. But the problem is, isn't it, we are simply creatures of DNA, and it's built into the DNA to reproduce. And um, so I think that's the, the hurdle that has to be overcome. But it's not. It's be built into the DNA to have sex, okay? DNA's been gaming us, right? It fooled us what's because... What's the purpose of having sex? Well, I'm, it's not, I'm not talking about the purpose. I'm not talking about the end game. I'm talking about what our biology demands, okay? We get hungry and we get horny. We don't get horny to have kids. We get horny to have sex, okay? Because that takes care of the kid thing automatically. I mean, salmon don't swim upstream to because they are thinking, I'm going to make a bunch of baby fish. 
That's not what they're thinking, okay? They're hungry to get upstream. They're not hungry to have kids. Um, no animal procreates on purpose, and certainly we don't procreate on purpose in the sense that our biology doesn't say make babies. It says do the process that will cause babies. All right. Yes, now, I follow that. I'm going to go to Thunder, but just remind people if you would like to comment on this topic or any other, uh, send a contact re request through Skype to um, Magic Sandwich Show and we'll get you on. Thunder? Well, fine, okay. Um, so, wh wh what do you think the actual purpose of life is? Why, why um, do you do anything? Well, what I'm doing is, is arguing for a minimization of the suffering. I value suffering. I say conscious animals, any animal, any sentient experience suffering has value. That's the creator of value. Okay, I fundamentally disagree with you about the purpose of life. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm sort of pointing out, is that, yes, you're an atheist, I'm an atheist, and we fundamentally disagree on what life is, okay? Yeah, I think the only value in the universe is sentience. Feeling organisms create value. There is no value till one exists. No, no. I mean, if you really wanted to actually sort of express it, um, it it's a minimization of free energy parameter space. Um, but in, in um, common parlance, yeah, okay, uh, you might say that in, in the short term, the first uh, order of approximation is that people procreate because that's what they're good at. Um, but also in that same parameter space, um, people discover things because that is a more favorable um, point on parameter space than not knowing how the universe functions. Uh, so in many ways, the actual um, uh, uh, thermodynamic purpose of life is to actually discover the purpose, uh, to, is to actually create uh, an adequate model of the universe. Well, I'm all for an adequate model. My point is, is the model is basically a replicating DNA molecule completely out of control. It's like a universal forest fire or something. It's not a positive event. It's kind of... No, a but that, 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 that's a minimization, right? There is a selective pressure on that, and the selective pressure is the gene sequences that are, are capable of most accurately modeling reality at the one the best, correct? I'm not going to argue about genetic philosophy. I don't believe genetic philosophy it's exists. The, philosophy. I, this is, this is well, can I finish one sentence? All right. I don't believe this, that philosophy is all genetic. I don't think our intelligence, in terms of its actual physical structure, the logic and the information, has anything to do with genetics. It's called philosophy. It's not a biological function. It's a function of a thinking machine that biology gave us, okay? We run software programs that are made out of vocabulary and language, all right? That is our intelligence. The structure, the computer, is sort of irrelevant to what we can think. We can think anything. Our biology does not own us. Our logic can own us. Concordance, I think you want to make a point, and then we'll go to Owen. Well, I think, I think Gary started making the point I was going to make, which is, we are not just our biology, and in the same way that you know a, a colony is not just a bunch of ants. There, there's an emergent behavior when when we transition from um, simplistic behaviors to complex behaviors. There's a whole new level of meaning, and you know viewed strictly from a reductionist biological sense, we are vehicles for our genes, and that's specifically what Gary's talking about. We are reproducing machines to propagate certain combinations of genes that travel together. But we can also write out our genes. We can also benefit from this as the vehicle. Um, we, we get to see a lot of cool things along the way. Uh, I, I'm not quite clear on whether Gary is, is actually this views life this bleakly, or, or if this is leading up to some additional argument, but th there's a lot more to it than just the biology. When you strip it down and you pull all the neurons out of your brain, you won't find joy or happiness or art or whatever in any of those neurons. It's the, the action of them together. It's our social behaviors. It's our uh, complex, higher-order behaviors that emerge from the simpler biological aspects. Yeah, your genes have only one goal in mind, and that is to propagate themselves. We, on the most basic animal reductionist level, only have the goal of passing on our particular genetic markers. But on a much higher level, a behavior emerges from those simple behaviors 
that is all of art and literature and society and culture and helping each other and all those wonderful things that are worth living and dying for. Well, you okay, see, come back on that before we go to Arwen. Uh, yeah, just quickly. Yeah, I, I will, yeah, I don't think they're that wonderful. Actually, I think they're most of it's just psychological babble and nonsense. It's just we're hungry. We manufacture our potato chip. We chase it in our little wheel, and we think we accomplish something. We just redundantly do this accomplishment thing over and over and over, chasing an ego gratification that is pretty superficial and meaningless. So, yeah, and if you want to say am I bleak, yeah, I'm as bleak as, you won't find a bleaker human being on this planet because I think it's a zero-sum game and I think life has been a preposterous fail. It's preposterously wasted.